Hey guys, we're on the Dirty Duck here. Uh, this is what Myrick and I are going to be running in a shootout this year. Uh, here with Ray Lee, just going to kind of show you a few things, what we got going on here. Start in the back, this is our electronic battery switches, so these are both engines and then this is the fans. If you're wondering why there's a bilge pump hanging upside down, that's if we flip it, uh, it uh, the bilge will start pumping water out because <laughs> it would be upside down. Uh, this tank right here, this is for our uh, par uh, parachute. <laughs> so before our run, we had to pull the safety pin on the parachute, uh, air this up, and then this would be the, the electric uh, uh, deploy for the parachute. Over here, uh, like we were just talking about, is my actual parachute button. So when uh, Myrick or, or I say, uh, oh shit, this is where we press the button to let the parachute come out. This button right here is our red lights because you gotta have red lights in a uh, race boat. This button right here is our push to talk. So if we were gonna radio the shore, I would press this and I could hear them in my uh, helmet. All the switches right here, so the furthest one over, this is my tunnel tab. Uh, this is my starboard drive, this is my port drive, and this is both drives at the same time. So I'll be right here running the drives up, you know, for, on the takeoff, back down for uh, uh, as we gain speed, and then if I need to make any adjustments to keep them level, it'd be these outside too. These switches right here are uh, from when the boat was built originally. Uh, these aren't being used anymore, but going up here, I got my ignitions. I got my fuel pump, and then I got my starters. So the starting process would ignition on, turn fuel pump on, crank it. Uh, battery parallel, house battery, uh, some more lights, more fans. This one right here is for our radios, so we can turn our, our sound up uh, to hear each other. We can Bluetooth our phone to it so we can talk to somebody on shore. Uh, and then this is our VHF radio, which uh, gets our radios to go to shore. Here on the dash, we got our Garmin, so we got speed, uh, RPMs, uh, got speed, RPMs. Myra can see the, the trim over there, uh, the tunnel tab on the right, drives on the left. I got the exact same view over here. Uh, reason being is like when this was an actu actual race boat on a course, the driver could know before he's going into the corner if the tunnel tab was down or not, because obviously you don't want to go into a sharp corner with the uh, tunnel tab down. Uh, things that I'll be watching is I watch my fuel pressure. Uh, I got uh, water pressure as we're going down the course, and the biggest thing is trim. So uh, the whole time I'll be, you know, kind of watching the gauges, watching the RPMs, and slowly bringing the trim down. Uh, a by feel and B by R RPMs. So there's a, a unique feature as well in the yeah. boat, right? So last year we we struggled with. Uh, acceleration at the start line so at the start line um, I was you know in the throttle and we we're going probably 100 to 150 yards past the start boat before the boat would actually take off and that that's from turbo lag so we added some nitrous <laughs> to the <laughs> boat this year and uh, now uh, at takeoff when I when I go to full wide open throttle uh, the system automatically engages and, and adds a 150 horsepower shot of uh, nitrous into the turbos and uh, that engages up until we get to 12 pounds of boost on, on the turbos. So all done by the computer. Um, once we get to 12 pounds, the, the nitrous disengages and then the turbos are spooled up enough to, to take over. Uh, on our first pass, we will be pushing 27 pounds of boost and uh, we'll see if that's enough to get us to the 200 mark. <laughs> and that's the goal? That's the goal. Our goal is uh, 200. Um, yeah. Uh, anything over that, you know, uh, we'd be happy with, but our goal is to, to make the 200 mark. We did 194 last year in the shootout, and I think, I think with the better acceleration at takeoff, I think, uh, I think we can be there. Tell us about the engines. It's Carson Brummett engines from Pasadena, California. Yes. And. Uh, Tell us about those. What's the horsepower? What's the... So we're pushing roughly 2,200 horsepower side. Um, like I said, they are turbo engines. Uh, uh, like you said, Carson built them from scratch. Um, amazing machine. He was over here this morning doing some tuning on the, 
on the shift to make it a little easier for me to park, but uh, uh, I can't say enough. I mean, the engines are unbelievable. And Marek over here, he's got his own parachute, parachute punch. Helmets and fire extinguishers, your escape hatch. Yep. Hopefully we don't need that. Right. <laughs> uh, these gauges are right here for our oxygen. So once we turn the oxygen on, you'll we'll be able to see that uh, we're good. And the oxygen is for in case we did flip, we could uh, breathe underwater. And we've run a couple of your passes in, in testing, and it's been pretty impressive. What was it like first uh, when you ran the boat with the nitrous to, to get through the turbo leg. Well, you know, obviously never ran a boat with nitrous, so <laughs> yeah. Myrick and I were both very uh, nervous. Uh, just first, you know, by turning the nitrous on and then you have to purge the system and then you have to uh, uh, make sure that you don't kill the boat because you don't want nitrous in the engines and <laughs> trying to fire it. So uh, somewhere in here, there's a sheet that shows you, we'll, we'll, we'll show you, but uh, um, we got it fired up and we purged the system. Uh, when, As you're purging it, the engine revs up because it's getting nitrous in, introduced to it. So that was really, really cool. <laughs> the very first pass, I kept my trim way down just to, we didn't know like how much actual power we would have at the takeoff. We were afraid that we might cavitate the props, but I was actually, the second pass we trimmed up higher, third pass uh, um, all the way back up to kind of normal. And uh, it actually doesn't blow out the props, but the Garmin, at, when, when I hit it right at like 40 miles an hour, it goes from 45 to 61 to 86. Yeah, those <laughs> jumps were in, insane. It's, in, it's in crazy. <laughs> so uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't want to stop. We wanted to keep on testing. But, <laughs> but uh, we got to save it for the weekend. We got to save it for the weekend, and we, we want to make a, some good passes uh, throughout the weekend. We try to make, we plan on making as many passes as possible, but definitely one or two on Saturday and a couple on Sunday as well. What do you anticipate the uh, the communication to be between you and Myrick while you're making the run? Well, last year it was Myrick was just trim down, trim down, trim down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, obviously I always listen to him, but uh, just, you know, that, that our communication is, you know, trim down, trim down. He's He's handling, which is a really important part of uh, lining the boat up with the course and making sure we we exit the course uh, through the, the through the buoys. And that might not seem that big of a deal, but if you don't line up straight with the course and you're turning the boat the whole way down the course, you're scrubbing speed. So his goal is to be lined up perfectly when we come through the chute so that he barely has to turn it if at all um, to keep the boat perfectly straight because most people know that you know a cat runs the fastest when it's perfectly straight yeah absolutely well this is very exciting thanks for the tour rusty i mean and, and good luck to you and myrick this weekend it's gonna be an exciting run for sure so yeah this is excited. the tour of the dirty duck 438 skater